this is your broken news. I, uh, I'm only good at three things, you know. Filming, editing, and telling the news. And I've already done two of those things today, so. Wow. What's it going to be? Hello everyone and welcome to the 74th episode of The Broken News. I'm Justin Harris. And I'm Cody Best. And it's a beautiful day in Sanders County, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes it is. And of course, we are looking to make your day a bit brighter by bringing you some important and interesting stories. Such as coverage of last week's Ride Idaho group who chose to ride Highway 200. And sights and sounds from last weekend's local Berry Bash, the annual Huckleberry Festival. And, of course, with all that excitement, we'll be bringing you your weather with Sanders County's very own Conrad Jenkins. Well, let's get to some news, shall we? We shall. Last Wednesday, Ride Idaho, with their riders and entourage totaling 425 people, came to stay the night in Thompson Falls. This event became a true community partnership between Sanders County Community Development Corporation, Tour 200, the City of Thompson Falls, including the Mayor's Office, City Council and the Public Works and Police Departments, PPL and Thompson Grill, Thompson Falls Schools, White Pine Entertainment, local volunteers, and of course, Ride Idaho YMCA of Treasure Valley. Ride Idaho? What were they doing here? I think they were creatively and deliberately redirected. We're around 50 miles from the Idaho border, you know. Well, you, you know how nice that drive is. <sighs> that is a nice drive. And these type of events play an important role in the economic well-being of our community and county. But I still don't see how they were lured so far off course. Well, luckily for you, I found out. Watch this. All right, I'm here at the Falls Motel with Katrina Campbell, who's going to answer a few questions about the Ride Idaho event that came through our local community. Katrina, what goes into organizing an event of this magnitude here in our community? Hours and hours of planning. You know, not only like Mark and myself in the Falls Motel, because we sponsored the entertainment and we obviously donated a lot of our time to coordinate it, but we had a lot of support from Noel Jacobson and PPL, from um, Jim Rexhouse and the Sanders County Community Development Corporation, from um, Thompson Grill, Phyllis and Jetson really worked hard, then their coordination with the school for the facilities to prepare the food, down to volunteers that just showed up from the community to set up the space, to Nat, Nat and Jackie Burgess who you know, put together the entertainment and, and made mm -hmm. sure that they had had good good tunes to listen to. All right. So it was a it was a mutual effort. So we've got the community involved. How does this give back to the community? How is this helpful to all of us? There are 425 people who, for most of them, saw this area for the first time. You know, we owned the hotel and we were full, 100% booked. I think every lodging business in town was full. Mm -hmm. The restaurants were busy. The stores were busy. They called and ordered every banana that was in Harvest Food. <laughs> so we even had a guest who was from Spokane who said that he had never, he'd gone to Libby many times and he had never gone down Highway 200 and it was his first experience. So he said, I'll be bringing my family back. What made this particular bike tour unique is that they wanted to be in the center of town. They wanted to feel the fabric of the community. And they also wanted to, they rode in on Blue Slide because of how beautiful that scenery is. And then when they left town, they rode out over the Gallatin Street Bridge, across the island, and then over the High Bridge, oh. which to them was, was a highlight of their event. Uh -huh. So not only is it immediately an economic, economic boost, but even in the future, these people will potentially come back. Well, we really appreciate all that you do in the community and helping us all out and kind of pulling us all up by our own bootstraps. And uh, there you have it, how to organize an event of that magnitude from Katrina Campbell. Well, now I see how all this came to be. Katrina Campbell. Should have figured. Thank you, Mark and Katrina Campbell of the Falls Motel, Tour 200, and the other generous donors for their contributions in making this trip a reality for these riders and our community. Now let's get to the meat of our show, footage from the annual Huckleberry Festival, held last weekend in Trout Creek. 
the Huckleberry capital of the state. Country. Well, I guess the world, actually. Universe. Universe. Let's take a look at Friday's footage of a snippet from the Miss Huckleberry pageant. This is good stuff. fun. You have no idea. And you did pretty good in the pageant. But, so. Oh, I I wasn't in the pageant. Yes, you were. I just oh. saw you in the pageant. Oh, uh, yeah, but it wasn't like I was in a dress. Miley Gyrus. I mean, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> 